Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Beginning of the month. Let's make it a great month. Surrender and let go of the past. Always do your best. Whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you allow yourself fully be alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you can enjoy the dream that is happening right here, right now. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 28, NASDAQ off 12, S&P's flat. Gold, gold contract down $9.60, trading at $19.89 an ounce. We have silver up two cents, $25.25 an ounce. Light sweet crude off a dollar, $75.80 a barrel. Notes and bonds, a 10-year note down 23 ticks, trading 114.15. The 30-year up down a full two points at 129.19 in King Dollar. King Dollar's up 508 ticks, trading 102.168. The Euro's 109. The yen's 137. The British pound's 124 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the S&Ps? Let's take a look at them. What do we have? We have a flat market out here. I expect you're going to stay like this until Wednesday at 2 o'clock, folks. The meeting starts tomorrow. Um, yeah, meeting starts tomorrow and goes to Wednesday. That's, that's the Fed meeting. So we have out here today, you know, the spies are flat, literally flat. 415.94. We, we take a look at the, just one second, folks, sorry about this. Let me get this up. Let's see. That, that. There we go. Sorry, there we go. There we go. Okay. The Qs. We take a look at the Qs. Same type of setup inside the Qs. Bottom line, you get a sideways move out here today. Um, you know, you're down 18 pennies, but that's it. For, you know, last Thursday and Friday were strong days, folks. There's no doubt about that. In fact, the Qs took out a B point, took it out with volume. So the, the Qs want higher price. We go, let's go take a look at the, the note and bond market. So the note and bond market, this has been vacillating back and forth, but continues higher. Every time it's come down, it's come down. Here it is again with light volume. See this right here? The 10 is down, but you get 781,000 contracts. Now watch this. We went up Friday with 2 million contracts. We're pulling back with 781. That says that notes and bonds want higher price, lower yield. It's pretty amazing, actually. Let me look at the U.S. The 30 year here. So the 30 is off a full two points. You got 217,000. This is going to be the same thing. We went up with a lot more. This is going to gyrate in a monster way tomorrow for sure. Wednesday. Yeah, look at this. So we went up Friday with uh, 380 back and down with 217. So the market, the way the market is set up right now is that the market is saying, I want. Higher price, lower rates. The way the Fed's set up <laughs> is that the Fed is set, set up to the point that they want to go a little bit higher. Now, you got to remember something. The Fed is overnight rates. That's all this is all about, okay? It's bank-to-bank -bank rates. So you can have both. That's the bottom line. Gold. We go take a look at the gold market out here. Gold couldn't hold price today, and it's all about the U.S. dollar. We take a look at the gold market. What you have with gold? Gold got up to the price point of... Uh, 2015, we did 162,000 contracts and couldn't hold price. So this has been holding up pretty good up here. You know, the real kicker is going to be where this dollar wants to go. And this dollar, I suspect, you know, really, my, my take is that this dollar wants to go to the 106. Now, this is where this goes. The dollar wants to go to 106. Your probability is pretty high that the Fed is going to come in with a, another quarter point, and more than likely they're going to come in and I know this is they're probably going to start to sound kind of bearish, not bearish, like um, like they they're not going to stop. 
And that, you know, when you look at that fundamentally, that's kind of hard to comprehend because of the fact that the third bank just went down. I mean, first uh, federal, federal uh, first Republic Bank. J.P. Morgan took over First Republic Bank. Uh, bottom line, if we go take a look at J.P. Morgan, and you're going to see what's intriguing here is J.P. Morgan, you know, as the same with uh, Wells Fargo, they both, so check this out. This is pretty amazing when you think about it. They both are at their max, meaning that their deposit base is 10 percent of the whole deposit base in the whole United States. So what has to happen is that in J.P. Morgan's case, the bottom line is that they have to say, oh, okay, well, you know, we don't want you to go over 10 percent, but because of the fact that the federal FDIC is going to lose so much money, we're going to let you go over 10 percent, you know. And there is no doubt that whatever clients are left in First Republic, those are very high-end clients um, that I'm sure that J.P. Morgan is going to just eat up in a, in a monster way. And there's no doubt the banks, the government, the Treasury, they all played chicken right to the very end. And we don't know what the actual deal is yet. But what we do know is that when Citizens took over Signature Bank, Citizens went up dramatically because the fact of the matter is, is that the bankers themselves um, know a lot more than the regulators. And, we, it, that, and that's, that's just shown because these banks went down because the regulators weren't doing their job, you know. So there's a deal in there. That's, there's a deal in there somewhere, and I suspect it's going to come out. Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 22. The Nasdaq's off 11. S&P's uh, up one. We have, uh, let me go look at that oil market. So oil. Yeah, that's still. That's down on my volume. Stay right there, folks. Come back when I'm Amazon Steve Rhodes.